so I've almost saved up enough for automation, which should make things go a whole lot faster, but I've been sitting here really curious about what might be on my computer in my bedroom. Right? If I spent 18 years in here, there might be something interesting over here on this. Do not interact with this terminal. This terminal is now off limits. Punishment is severe for those who disobey. Okay, okay, yep, not looking to get terminated when mom yells, you merch. What's up guys, welcome to Thorn. So this is a game that I know very little about other than the fact that it's described as being like a 20 minute experience in a dystopian future. And the screenshots and the imagery that they showed was super interesting, so I really couldn't resist checking it out. Great. They still have alarm clocks and 7 a.m. in the future. That's a disappointment. Hey, are you awake? But maybe love bots? That would make up for things. I want to wake you, but, well, I've got something to show you. Go to the tunnel and press the on-screen button. You're a little big to be a love bot, don't you think? Come on, I'm too excited. Please don't make me wait. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm just adjusting to the fact that I expected to roll over in bed next to my love bot, not have it mounted on my wall without a body. Like, this was one of the first images that I saw for the game. It's like I said, it's super interesting, but I just thought it was a giant nightlight. Or, I don't know, art. There's tons of art around here. What does this say? Redeem birthday gift. So what, I can't leave until I get Robo Girlfriend's birthday gift? Oh, okay, that's what you were talking about. Do you remember in class when we talked about the value of credit? No. How it makes us better humans, how it gives us something, something more than others. Well, today is the day you become something more. Today is the day you begin your journey. Your journey to becoming a citizen of our beautiful, beautiful nation. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. Robo Mom, that's citizen awkward. Six A has been registered. Okay. So I'm 18, yet I'm apparently not a citizen? What does that mean? And I just heard, yeah, now we can leave. That's already super weird. So she didn't really explain anything. She just gave me 50 CR and I have no citizen points. And my birthday door has now been unlocked. So I'm guessing she wants me to go through this. Uh, I was kind of expecting like a surprise party, not more giant glowing Welcome heads. To life. Welcome to your apartment. Congratulations. You've successfully unlocked your first apartment room. Now. It's important for you to understand how to become a better citizen. It's not something that's for everyone, but I know in my heart of hearts that it is for you. Your birthday present, the credit I gave you, it will allow you to unlock your very first workstation. It'll allow you to conduct your very first job. Go on, give it a go, just like I taught you. The first job? Wait a minute. So have I been in this room my entire life? I need to investigate this. That is super creepy. I absolutely have been in this room for most of my life, right? You can see that I've been marking my growth ever since I was five up until, well, 17. I just turned 18 and my birthday present was this door opening for the first time. And now I get to move on to the next stage of life, which was behind this door the entire time, you know, renting my own apartment and getting my first job and earning money and citizen points, I guess, to become, you know, a real boy. It would explain all the kids' drawings. And now I'm starting to see all the wall art as a prisoner passing the time kind of thing. Yeah, there's even a dumbwaiter where they would send me all of my food and another door which I cannot interact with. So a one-way door, that's probably how they put me in here 13 years ago. I can't see a whole lot of the dystopian world outside other than another apartment building across the way, which may be housed by even more people like me. Like, I, I feel like I'm less a prisoner and more so an experiment. And my goal here is to become a real person and join society, right? I'm, I'm trying to become a citizen. Oh, there's another door! 
And if I become a level 15 citizen, then I get to move on to my next stage of life, I guess. Right, maybe there'll be like a, a house and a family and a white picket fence behind that door and that'll probably all be controlled by wall-mounted Robomom. Maybe it's not all bad, okay? I like the way you think, Robomom. I'm gonna move out into my own apartment. I'm gonna get my very first job selling t-shirts at www.designbyhumans.com slash shop slash Captain Sauce. Every fifth order comes with its own complimentary love robot. Congratulations, you've successfully unlocked Workstation A, Uniform Press. Oh, I'm a dry cleaner. Congratulations, you've successfully unlocked your first citizen point. Every time you unlock a new job or upgrade a job's functions, you'll earn a singular citizen point. Citizen points will contribute to your overall citizen level, and it's citizen levels that will expand your world on your journey to citizenship. Now, conducting your job is really quite simple. All you need to do is follow the instructions on the screen. The instructions being the three giant colorful buttons? Really? Why did you wait for me to be 18 to start doing this? Five-year-old me could have figured this out. So we need to import the uniforms, okay. And then press the uniforms. It's all automated. I don't even need to do anything by hand. And then send them back out. That's it. Are you proud of me? Congratulations. You've successfully completed your first job. God, I am so proud of you. After all these years, you're finally doing this on your own. They say the hardest thing in life is watching those you love fly the nest. At least I can attest these are truly going to be hard days. Just stay on track and everything will be just fine. She speaks so sincerely and so much like a mother, but at the same time, my name is Citizen 456A. So it's like any personalized part of the message is robotic. Everything else is probably just recorded for the towers filled with children. So I'm guessing I just need to keep working and earning more money? Makes sense? I mean, she's just backing up everything that I've been saying, right? All these years, and she's been teaching me. That's another thing. You know, the credits that I taught you about, it, it's like I've grown up underneath her. You successfully earned 100 credits. Now you need to spend it. Credit is the lifeblood of society. It allows us to upgrade and improve. It allows us to be better human beings. You have enough credit to unlock your first upgrade. Head to the upgrade station. She also keeps saying us as if she's human. It very much seems like she's been teaching me since a very young age to kind of see her as an equal, right? She's not a giant glowing head on the wall. It's always we humans, us. We're the same. There's nothing weird going on here. Go over to the upgrade station and spend the credits that you just earned on your uniform you job. If you only have workstation A up and running, it means you can only access upgrades for this workstation. Move oh, the right. to select which upgrade you would like, and use your credit to purchase it. So there are two more jobs that I can get in here. I completely overlooked that. So we can upgrade cooldown, quality, or automate. Oh, we need 4,000 for that. Okay, um, let's just make this go a little faster. You've unlocked the uniform faster press upgrade. Thank you. Congratulations. You've successfully made your first upgrade. <laughs> what was that? That sounded weirdly mechanical. Everything is congratulations. Congratulations, you took a dump this morning. Congratulations, you noticed that there's a TV over by the door. What does this have to say? Was that you? I keep hearing weird robotic things and I really don't think it's my job. I think it's you. Citizen ranking. So they actually have every human being ranked on how good of a citizen they are, like a citizen high score. Reminder that curfew is 10 p.m. Thunderstorms halted the advancement of enemy troops? A has graduated. Uh, okay. Good. That's not me, right? I'm 456A. Uh, good for them. Like I said, towers full of children like this and all the citizens are graduating to become good little citizens. Something about enemy troops. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get back to pressing uniforms like a good little boy. I don't want mom yelling at me. <laughs> the smooth jazz that keeps playing in the background is really offsetting. It does not mix with the paranoia that I'm getting from this. I haven't really felt something like this since 
I don't know, Bioshock, I guess? It's not really being trapped, it's just the strange science fiction mystery of it. I absolutely love it. Congratulations, you've successfully pressed 10 uniforms. Thank you! Like I said, everything is congratulatory. There's a whole lot of positive reinforcement in this household. So how about we buy some more things? Things go faster? Hear that weird grindy noise again. Uh, there's also quality that I've been upgrading, which makes me earn more money. Ooh, I got my first citizen level. Congratulations. There it is. Oh, this is so thrilling to see. Your very first level of citizenship achieved. This is all happening so fast. I feel like I'm getting flustered. I wish that this wouldn't one day come to an end. That we could be together forever. God, that is creepy, because the voice acting is so good. You honestly feel like you love this giant, creepy cast of a head. So if this is going to one day come to an end, like she said, then I assume that behind that next door isn't just another expansion like this one. You don't say much, do you? They sometimes say the silent ones are the ones you need to watch. Maybe I should watch you more closely. Is that a thinly veiled threat? That that was super creepy. I, I'm trying to talk. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, what about the next expansion? Like, maybe once I become a full-fledged citizen, I actually get to join society. Like, I've been brainwashed. I mean, I've been brainwashed enough that I can actually go outside and live my life. Maybe this is how kids are born in this strange dystopian future. So I'm just pressing a lot of clothes here and then having her chime in every now and then. Congratulations. You've successfully earned 500 credits. Keep it up. Like that. Thanks, Bombot. Okay, and then we can come over here and keep upgrading. Okay, I'm earning citizen points and I'm earning more money, so it's all worthwhile. Citizen 548B has failed citizenship. Termination requested. Oh, that is not good. So, people don't automatically pass? If you don't end up fitting the bill, you, termination? Is that door... Okay, that door is still secure, right? That wasn't me. That was 458B. I'm 456A. I was concerned for a second there would be like a squad rolling through that door. It's like they turn over the tape, right? That's what it sounds like. I'm pretty sure just a minute ago, she didn't even finish a sentence. She got like halfway through and then had to cut off the recording and switch things over to the next sentence. Citizen 145D has graduated. Yeah, am I supposed to be hearing that? I feel like that kind of definitely makes the whole illusion fall apart. <laughs> okay, I want to save up for automation, but at the same time, I almost have enough to unlock food? Ration station. Hey, there we go. Congratulate me! Mom? I mean, I earned my first thousand credits. You, you best congratulate me. Okay, I'm going over here. Congratulations. You've successfully unlocked workstation B. Ration preparation. We need to ensure that those that are already citizens are fed properly. You have a duty to ensure that all in our nation have the same rights as you. Then, when you've gained the blessing of citizenship, you too will reap the rewards of life and freedom, of duty and honor. Duty and honor? Um, this is starting to sound a lot more like a war, right? We have soldier uniforms, we have the ration station, we have artillery. Yeah, I probably should have read that one earlier. And the fact that there were troops advancing and stuff like that. So I get to graduate into becoming a, a soldier. Yeah, I when you were nine years old. No. You kept asking me what was outside of this place. It's so rewarding to see you move towards your goals. My goals of what? Dying for this country? For this citizenship? I don't understand. So I can clumsily operate both of these at the same time, earning more money, and then eventually I should be able to unlock automation. And then I can just sit back. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Once a citizen, we will never lose again. I don't know, does that rhyme? I was too busy focusing on the fact that you said lose. Lose what? Lose a war? 
So I've almost saved up enough for automation, which should make things go a whole lot faster, but I've been sitting here really curious about what might be on my computer in my bedroom. Right? If I spent 18 years in here, there might be something interesting over here on this. Do not interact with this terminal. This terminal is now off limits. Punishment is severe for those who disobey. Okay, okay, yep, not looking to get terminated when mom yells, you merch. <gasps> oh my god, I got like shivers up my spine. Don't make the weird, crunchy, robot -y noises. Okay, I'm buying automation. Congratulations. You've unlocked the uniform auto press upgrade. Okay. Congratulations. You've unlocked all uniform upgrades. You are a uniform in it. I can see so much potential in you. The way you move that mouse and hit that button. You're entitled to the sweat on your brow, my love. Yes, indeed you are. Sweat of your brow is a very communist, Soviet-esque saying, which kind of makes sense considering I'm pretty much working for free here, right? Automation? Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna sit down here and uh, stare at mom for a little bit. I am really tempted to look around to see if there's anything else of interest to me, but at the same time, I feel like I'm one good yelling away from having a termination squad flood through that tiny little door in my bedroom, so maybe I'll just sit here and make tasty, tasty rations like a good little boy. Congratulations. You've successfully earned 10,000 credits. Ooh. I have nothing witty to say this time. Well, you're all ran out, are you? <laughs> I was gonna say, I can unlock artillery. I don't really want to make artillery. Maybe we'll just get uh, food automation. Congratulations. You've unlocked the ration auto preparation upgrade. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations. You've unlocked all ration upgrades. You are a rationing legend. Legend. Every time it does the weird, like, printer jammed tape turnover sound, she kind of has, like, a darkness flood up through her. It's really weird. But now I can just flick on automation for you and just hang out over here and purchase upgrades? Uniforms are great and rations are delicious, but I'm willing to bet that the big money is with the artillery. Should I be concerned that the artillery station is making a lot of noise and movements when I haven't done anything with it yet? Unlock this terminal for 10,000. Yeah, okay. Congratulations. You've successfully unlocked workstation C, artillery manufacturer. I remember when the first bombs fell. Those that opposed our way of life, that opposed our honesty and our rapture. They thought they could stop us, but we are strong. We persevere. We protect our young and we create wholesome people with the right values and ethics. They did not celebrate when we fought back. Okay. So people weren't big fans of the fact that you were controlling how humans are born and raised and think, and exterminating those that kind of don't think the right way. They fought back and you bombed them. Great. Well, about half an hour later, those bombs are really flying off the shelf. <laughs> this is taking quite a bit longer than I would have expected. I'm level 14, I need two more citizen points and I should have enough money for them. One, two, two. Congratulations. You've successfully gained level 15 of citizenship. This is it. Phase one of your journey is now complete. You're so precious to me, so important. In this moment right now, I would hold you if only I could. Congratulations. Please progress to the next production area. The next production area? What? I now have zero out of 20 citizen points. No, you're supposed to let me go. I'm supposed to be part of society. And again, with the whole automated response kind of thing. Well, the door is open at least. This doesn't look very homey. Ooh. Something isn't right. Return to your bedroom for security. Maybe Return I should be to your bedroom, citizen four five six A. Maybe I should be turning around. Mom is <laughs> mad. Citizen four five six A has failed citizenship due to early termination. I died. That's it! That's the whole game! There is no other production area! I, I guess the breeding center got nuked? 
I, I have no idea. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Thorn, guys. What a cool game! Like I said, it's only a short little experience. There isn't a whole lot to it, but this is a concept that could have been expanded into a, a huge, amazing AAA title. Like I said, it's got the vibes of Bioshock for some reason. I just, the mystery of it, the strange sci-fi alternate reality just sucks me in. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you see any other games like this that you would like me to check out, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to keep an eye out for definitely more stuff by whoever made this. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.